Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is the DNN tip of the week, and today I'll be talking about a topic that goes beyond DNN, that is more generic, very applicable to DNN, but more generic, which is Coldplex. Yes, you may, you may ask, you know, Ederson, why the hell are you talking about Coldplex? Coldplex is shut down, it's archived now. What's the point of talking about that? Well, let me tell you this. First of all, I want to give to give a big thanks to uh, Joe Craig. He was the one that inspired me to put this video together because he needed to recover an older project that was there on Codeplex, archived already, and he was not sure about how to go about recovering that. So this video will show you how you can download, unzip, and recover older files, older projects that are archived on Codeplex and they may not have been migrated to something like GitHub yet or maybe, you know, the original product uh, project owner didn't care about that project anymore to move it to someplace else. So, if you have a project, if there's something on Codeplex that you want to get out of it from the archive, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how to do that. I hope you like it. But before I talk to you about the DNN tip of the week, let me ask you a question. Have you done any DNN upgrades? Were they complicated? Did they fail? Well, let me tell you this. I put together about a month ago a presentation for our user group called Tadug, tadug.org. Website is below. And I went through the step-by-step -step approach that we use at DeskPol to upgrade our client's websites. So if you want to have a look at that and follow a systematic approach on how to upgrade DNN, you should definitely check out that presentation on the link below. Okay, so today we'll be talking about how we can get the older Codeplex files that have been stored on older projects. How can we recover them? Because right now, if you go to any old Codeplex repo, you're going to see something like this. You're going to only be able to download the entire archive of that particular project. When you download that, you're going to get one single zip file. And I'm going to, I have a few that I have downloaded, as you can see here. And I have them on my Windows Explorer already. For the sake of example, I'm using these three extensions, DNA extensions, but this is applicable to any project on Codeplex, not only to DNA related projects, but to anything that used to be stored there. It is, but it is archived right now. So when you download, when you click on download archive on any project on Codeplex, you're going to get the zip file of that project. When you unzip them, and I'm going to show because here is the zipped file, here is the unzipped folder that is a result of unpacking this file here. I'm going to open that. You're going to get a bunch of folders. That will include discussions that may have happened when the project, the when Codeplex was still active. Discussions, issues, license, releases, that's what we are interested in here. Source code, if this is a, a Git you know, project, maybe the Git the entire Git repo is here. That depends, but our interest today will be around releases. And we also have the wiki here. So the entire project gets downloaded. So keep in mind that when you are downloading the archive, some of those archives might be very, very large files. Now, a lot of them, the ones that are still active, they have migrated to things like GitHub, but if the project you're looking for is not migrated, and it's only available on Codeplex, this video will help you to find out where the files are stored. So when you are when you unzip the archive file, go to the releases folder. And under the release folder, you're gonna see, you're gonna find a .json file. So you're gonna open this JSON file on a text editor. It's a text-based file, it's a JSON file. And here, inside the JSON file, you're going to have several entries, each one with an ID. And if you compare that to the folders, 
the IDs here, they will match the folder name. So, for example, if you are looking for a particular version of this project, you can have a look at the ID here. It has the modified date that you can use as a reference. And it also, inside this entry, it lists the files that are related to this release that was released on, sorry, that was modified on this date. So here's the file name. Here is the folder that is sitting on. And in this case here, we are on folder zero. So let's have a look at folder zero here. Folder zero has two files. And if you see the name of the file, it's a big ID. So if you look at the JSON file, this ID will match the ID specified right here. You see, that's the second one. And this is the first one. So what you can do to recover those is just about renaming the files. You can actually, the first one, you can just copy, see the file name entry here. You can copy the file name, including the extension. And then you can rename this file with that name. You can do the same thing for the other one if you are looking for, in this case, for the source code. But any released files in this release will be listed here. So you can re just rename the other one as well. And you can rename it there. And now we have the zip files that you can just double click and you can open them. See, here it is. And you can do that for any file that you might be looking for. If you are looking for a particular version, just use the search functionality of your editor and find the version that you want here. Everything will be listed in this JSON file. And you just have to match the folder ID initially and then the file name. That's really it. That's a, it's about finding the folder and renaming the file with the correct one with the one from the version that you are looking for. Again, you can apply this to any project that might be stored on Codeplex that has not been converted to something like GitHub or anything else. That's it. Just a short video to demonstrate how you can recover older projects from Codeplex. Thank you very much and bye for now. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.